Good morning, good morning, everybody. <coughs> so how was everybody this morning? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not really totally awake yet, but I'm feeling pretty good. So maybe that's just an indication that the rest of the day is going to be great. Um, oh, my gosh. What was I going to say? I was going to say something that happened yesterday. Uh, so many things happened. I'll tell you. My life is full of happiness, happenings, happenings, well, happiness too, <laughs> but um, let me tell you something though, I got a call from Pastor Paul, my, my adopted spiritual son, and he was telling me about uh, on Wednesdays they're having um, Bible studies, and they're reading from a book called Pigs in the Parlor. It's uh, P-A-R-L-O-R, Pigs in the Parlor. And he said it's really interesting. They're doing a lot of studying on it. And he was talking about curses and blessings. So I decided to go on YouTube <laughs> and see if I could find something regarding it. And I did. So, and it's really interesting because it talks, and, and what the Bible says about it now, um, the, how a lot of people have, like, generational curses. They, uh, okay, for instance, grandpa died of cancer, mama died of cancer, grandma died of cancer, daddy died of cancer, you know, oh, cut uncles, all these people have cancers in the family. So, it, it, you're thinking, oh my goodness, I'm going to get cancer too, because they had it, I'm going to have it. Well, number one, my opinion, my opinion is, you can curse yourself with things if you want to. You really can. I think that when we put in our mind, this is what's going to happen, this is what's going to happen, we are putting it into us. Uh I think our body is what we speak. Now, I'm not saying, oh, everybody that has this disease has put a curse upon themselves. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying that we can do that. And I, I just, you know, I'm just advising you all to go ahead and take a look at it. Um, I'll put a description, on the description, I'll put a name, the name to the the book and the YouTube, uh, it's on YouTube, and it's a book, and all that, anyway, but it's really interesting, I think, I think you'll get a lot of it, it's, I just started it, there's, uh, I'm only on one through five, I'm not even through the whole, the just the beginning, so, and it is quite interesting, so, uh, just a recommendation. <laughs> But, you know, I think the devil gives us so much. He puts things in our mind. Uh, Satan is a great deceiver, okay? That's what he is. He deceives you. He destroys you. So, I think that's a lot of what's happening now. Uh, you know, like... Things are happening, and then in your mind, he put, <coughs> well, there's an end to it. The, we're going to have World War Three. Uh, yeah, uh, all these people are going to die, all this and that. I mean, he puts horrible things. And another example, and Noah brought this up. Um, our little friend Mikey that, that passed away, his brother was talking to Noah and to myself, and he mentioned, well, you know, my old, my youngest brother died, my oldest brother died, I got to be careful, because I'm next, well, we're all next, let's face it, we're all going to die, come on, it isn't a curse on you that your brothers have died and you're the only one left, be thankful and turn to God and say, thank you, Lord, thank you for saving my life. Thank you for being with me. Thank you. Instead of that, you're going, 
Mm. I'm going to die, too. I have to be very careful. Something terrible is going to happen to me. Stop it. <laughs> it's going to happen because you're asking for it to happen. <laughs> Do you agree there, Noah? Yeah. See, he Psych even agrees. Huh? You psych yourself into it. You do. You psych yourself into it. And it's all the devil putting it in your head now. And, okay, you don't believe there's a Satan? No. I, you don't believe there's a God either. Because if you don't believe there's Satan, you don't believe there's God. Vice versa. So, you know, but he does. He he, he deceives you. Huh. <sighs> Anyway, I'm going to get off of that right now, but please look it up. I don't think you'll regret it. I know I'm all hyped up about it. I just got so hyped up about that. Pigs in the parlor. And that's Satan that's in the parlor. That's the pig. But we all need Satan. <laughs> get behind me. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Anyway, I'm, where am I at? Um, oh, yeah. Well, we're really getting ready today. We got to go to the Christian Center again because I ordered a whole set of uh, its pans and steamers and things like that for my instant pot. I had ordered it, and it was at a great discount. That's the only reason I ordered it. It was at a very good discount, and yeah. it's come in. Huh? Coffee not bad. Huh? No, it's not. We ran out of sugar, so we had brown sugar, so that's what we <laughs> use. I thought we had more sugar. Oh, well, that's me. Anyway, um, so I've, I've got to go get that, and then I decided to get... um. One of those snap-on toilets for my compost toilet, the you know, toilet seat for my compost toilet. So that's one of the things I'm got to get to. They both came in. It's the last things, the last things. And we got to get water. I got to go give Brian a good bath. <laughs> Yep, on the way back from getting water, we'll stop. There's a hose by the bathrooms and all, and there's like a grid, and you, grill. And you can put, you know, I could sand her in it and give her a good bath. Um, or him, I should say. I always call it a her. It, he's too pretty to be a boy. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. You all are pretty, too. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're very handsome. You're very handsome. You don't say pretty to a guy, do you? Nah. Mm -mm. But, pretty boys. But, um, well, you know, some some guys are a lot better looking than women, so look at me. Mm. <laughs> you ought to see my driver's license. No, you will not see my driver's license because my hair is short like this, and I had no makeup on. I kind of look like, well, <laughs> I look like a man. I looked at the picture and said, that's not me. That's got to be a man. It's not me. <laughs> right. It was me. Scared me. I'm not going to look at my driver's license very much because it scares me. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hey, we've got to get that done. All these things done. And we'll be heading out Monday, probably noonish, because we're going to head out to um, Hillaban. 95 miles down the road. Yeah, 95 miles down the road. And we're going to stop there. So we're not going to leave real early, because I'm not going to be there in the heat of the day, you know, that long. So we'll stop there. There's a truck stop there. Stay there overnight, and then leave early in the morning or sometime in the morning Tuesday morning my birthday happy birthday to me <laughs> I'm crazy okay I still get excited about birthdays yeah I do <laughs> but ah Doris Louise <laughs> oh, but anyway
anyway, uh, and I'll be seeing my oldest son and family on Tuesday at Walmart's because I can't take my bus into their neighborhood because what is that HOA or whatever that organization is will not allow something that looks like my home there. So uh, that's okay. I don't care. If they're snooty, I don't want to be there either. <laughs> I could just see them going, what is that thing with a picket fence going by? Oh, my God, we got to call the organization. <laughs> this neighborhood's gone to pots. <laughs> The hippies are here. Huh? The hippies are here. The hippies, the hippies are here, are here. yeah. <laughs> That's Noah. <laughs> uh, when we ever we get to our next campsite, though, I want to do a live stream. Noah and I will do the live stream, and I will announce it a few days before. But I think it would be nice to be able to sit out there and just chat with you all, you know, a and a Q and A's and. Uh, I think it'd be nice. I, I will enjoy that. I haven't done that in over a year. I did one before, and oh, I really enjoyed it. So I think I'm going to do one um, when we get to our next location, uh, which... Oh, and another good thing. That's what I was going to tell you about. Wow. You know, I was having to go to the doctors to get prescription renewed for my blood pressure. So I said, you know what? I'm going to call my doctor in Texas, in Atlanta, Texas. I haven't been to her. It's, it's a year. <laughs> and I let her know, look, I am almost out of pills. I'm in Arizona. I mean, I'm not going to get down there to Texas in time to be able to get my medicine. And so... She went ahead and renewed it for a year for me. So I've got to call Walmart's today and tell them I'll be there Tuesday. Walmart's in Buckeye. And tell them I'll be there Tuesday to pick up my pills. So I am so glad I don't have to go to another doctor. Ah, I don't like going to doctors. I do need a blood work. I do need it, but I don't need it that desperately. So it can wait. And besides... He's already taken my blood and mingled it with his, so I'm fine. <laughs> That's right. My blood is his blood. Yay! Anyway, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. I love you all. Take care. I got to get myself dressed and ready. <laughs> and believe me, I did a video yesterday on my laptop, but it was going to take two hours to just upload and i said ah i'll wait till tomorrow so i'm doing it on my phone again okay peace love you all take care and oh, have a wonderful wonderful day liam I, i'm waiting for you to be right there commenting you're number one all the time love you